Well, hello there. It is I, Dirty Dre, and I'm here to wash away all your sadness one satisfying stroke at a time. We are back out in Power Washer, and that sounded wrong now that I think about that. Get your mind out of the gutter, though. You know what I'm talking about. So, yes, three new bonus levels have been added to Power Wash Simulator, so I thought it'd be fun to get back out once again. And uh, we're starting off with the easiest of them all, this very gross-looking food truck. But yeah, some of them look quite weird. I do appreciate that we're already getting references to the volcano once again. And there's graffiti everywhere on this thing. Is that graffiti or is that supposed to be there? Okay, yeah, that's definitely graffiti. Oh, even this stuff's graffiti. So this whole thing is just tagged. Okay, well, let's clean this up. This should be a pretty quick job. What did that say? Oh, I'm missing all the references. All right, I had to reload the level just to see what that said. And it just says monster ham. Monster Burger. Not really sure what that's in reference to, but I'm sure we'll find out something about it. Is there anything on the other side before I start going crazy? We do have... Okay, there's the monster, clearly. What does this all mean? I don't know if this has a reference to any of the other levels. I do know that they said they added a bunch of lore to some of the older levels, though. So this might be part of that. I was trying to generate some of the mystery about the ingredients of my burgers to get a buzz going. You know, like thingy do with their chickeny bits. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, there we go. Something else run. Okay, now I'm getting a little nervous. I'm not sure if this is a joke or what. Oh, great. There's been rumors that all the cats that have gone missing have been going into the burgers of this place. The owner's saying, can you imagine? But I kind of believe it. I did see cat prints going up here. <laughs> All right, starting to look pretty clean in here. Definitely the inside needs some work, as you can see. I also need to get to the roof, so we should probably just finish the outside first. And bam, just like that, 95%. We also got a lot on the top of the hamburger. There we go. Burger bun has been clean. Wait, I got to do every piece of the burger, don't I? Oh, that's evil. All right, so yeah, let's get inside the burger here. <laughs> oh, this is going to be the worst part. I got to wrap all around that, and there's no easy view for this. There we go, right there. All right, how am I having a pro problem with this bottom bun? Like where, I mean, there's a little bit of dirt down here. That was it, of course. There was like no room for error with that. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the outside. There's definitely some small pieces, but it's all good. The majority of the fine stuff will be on the inside. Storage unit has been cleaned. Look at that, yeah, there's so much stuff in here. Just gonna do a quick wipe down and hopefully get the majority of it. Oh my God. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for in here. What I didn't focus much on is the front. I also still have wheels, I believe. Yep, there we go. Okay, we're down to three. Service hatch trim tire and window. Not very informative. I don't even know what a service hatch trim is. I mean, it's got to be a service hatch somewhere. I'm not really sure where it's talking about, though. All right, let's at least go for the things that are easy to find first. The tire. One of these is a dirty boy. And it would be this one. There we go, right there. Done. Window. This one. What the hell's the dirt? There it is. Now we just need service hatch trim. There you are. Ha, ah, and done. All right, well, that was very much one of the easier jobs. So uh, that's kind of a nice introduction into the game again. And always fun to clean a food truck. All right, now a bit of a bigger job. We have a massive satellite in the middle of nowhere. Oh, God, this is... This is a job and a half. Jesus. And this is the smaller of the two new ones, or technically three. We already did one of them, obviously. All right, well, first and foremost, let's clean the, uh... I don't even know what this thing is, though. That's a lot of rust, too. This whole thing's gonna be rusty, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, this is so dirty. This is gonna be such a job. Thank God for this thing, though. I mean, look at this. This is why this unit is so great. It is just destroying both dirt and rust. I love how the roof is the exact same color as the ground. All right, so the rest of this is fully cleaned. I just wanted to get this perfectly done right away. Do the boring part first. All right, and there we go. Control room is all done, and it's super white. So I'm curious to see, is that satellite going to be super white as well? It's hard to tell with all the grime on it right now. Also, what's going on around here? I haven't been hearing much in terms of, like, the lore, but... Uh, clearly they are here. Love how I can't wash this spray paint away, by the way. <laughs> All right, so we got, yeah, we have a bunch of hippies clearly camping out here. I haven't seen the gnome lately. I've been doing a really bad job finding it, but there generally is always one. There's gas that way. There's an invisible wall here, unfortunately. 
I don't like that there's a shovel in the ground here. I feel like they were burying bodies or something. So yeah, another camper here. All right, yeah, just a bunch of tumbleweeds over on this side. Not much else. Can't find the gnome anymore. I really suck at it. Oh, there he is. I found you, you little jerk. <laughs> oh, he's hiding at the third camper. All right, let's get on it. So first thing we're going to do as we generally do in these is... Oh, God, it's so big. I'm not even reaching it with my max range. We're going to try and cut this in half as good as we can. And yes, this is clearly very, very white. Oh, this is going to be super satisfying to clean. Look at my wonderful straight line. Oh, my God. These are my favorite type of levels, though. The ones that you, truly you just cannot see the color of it. And then when you clean it, it's just the cleanest of white. Super satisfying to clean this. All right, so I made it over to the actual walkway up. Let's see what else is going on up here. I haven't seen any lore or anything. I am seeing footprints. I have not been up here yet. So that's kind of eerie. I can climb this way. And... That's extra creepy. There's like a child's handprint there. All right, but no creepy UFOs or anything up here. I thought there'd be something. Maybe we could see something out from the distance. This is a pretty massive map. Definitely one of the bigger creations in this whole game so far. And as I said, the next level's even bigger. So kind of insane. All right, and 35% done. Looks like half of it's done. Oh, that's super satisfying. Again, I just love it when they're just so perfectly white. This kind of shows how truly dirty this thing is. All right, well, that was super satisfying. Let's uh, get back to uh, cleaning this thing and get paid. Not that I need money in this game. Uh, I kind of have a lot of it. You know what? Actually, people always get mad at me because I don't use uh, soap ever. So here you go. You happy? I actually don't think it helps much at all unless you do a first pass first and then you use this for maybe more of the grimy stuff. I'm not actually seeing much grime on this one, though. It's mostly just dust, which makes sense. We're in the middle of a desert. So I think I'll do a quick first pass and uh, maybe use some soap if there's any hard to clean areas. But yeah, so far, this has just been super satisfying more than anything else. Uh, not much of a challenge besides, obviously, the sheer scale of it. All right, lower wall is done. Hardest part of this is actually um, this walkway because it's like uh, textured and it actually is harder to clean the dirt. So I'm trying to get this done before I move on. I'm close. The ramp wall is extremely close. I might actually, hold on. I think there's a lip here. Uh, there's not much of a lip actually. I don't know if that's considered part of the wall. Yeah, I think this is totally different. So there's got to be just a little bit of dirt on the wall. Yeah, you can see there's some small pieces everywhere and well they add up but yeah this took me forever uh compared to the actual uh metal this was so much harder to clean but there we go the wall is done now we just got to worry about the upper wall which is this piece going all the way to the top i don't think i did much of that yet so i think we'll just move on we do have this upper wall too but this thing has a lip here and yeah that's where all the dirt is so we'll deal with that once we get the scaffolding out all right, middle section's looking pretty good. I have a lot of small details to do, like these railings are always a nightmare. And every railing has its own unique pull, so don't want to deal with that right now. Not too worried about it. I want to head up there, so we're going to clean the top. And we haven't even seen the inside of the dish yet. That's where the majority of the dirt is, so let's get rid of the big stuff first. This is my favorite part, too, just slowly cleaning something way far away from me. I love the distance you can get on this thing. All right, and there we go. The final few satisfying swipes sitting at 72% done. Haven't touched the top dome yet. That was super fun to do. Usually I'm mad by now in these things, but honestly, this level's been great. All right, well, I guess we'll climb up. There's still this area that we very much need to clean, but we'll worry about that later. And, well, here we are. Gary says it's aliens. They're using our water to create clouds to disguise their activity, which is to steal our natural resources. The cats are their recon units. They curr they're currently reporting back to the dissenters. Guess who I heard this from? The mayor himself. We're days away from an invasion. Mark my words. Okay, usually I don't care about these dialogues, but this one's getting pretty interesting. You see any aliens in the clouds? There's no damn clouds. There's like one faint one over there, but no aliens in that one, I don't think. All right, there we go. The uh, inside of the satellite is pretty much done. 96, just hit that now. Now for the fun part, trying to find all the small pieces of dirt that take the majority of the time. Because, yeah, I definitely left a lot around, as you can see. Um, did not take as much time as maybe I should have. Can I really not climb this? Okay, hold on. There we go. Let's make sure we get it all done while we're up here. Clearly, it's hard to get up here. 
There we go. Sub reflector clean. Is, my, is the laser done or the feed horn? Clearly, I don't know anything about satellites. I don't, I don't even know what a feed horn is. All right. Yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. I think now it's time to get on the scaffolding and get some of these high views. Because, yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch over there. Uh, there's always obviously going to be a bunch on this lip here. I can actually just walk on this. I didn't realize that. That might be easier to deal with. Get nice, close, and personal. Okay, there we go. Tower panel's been clean. I think all the decks are clean except for this one. There we go. Outer deck's been cleaned. So that's pretty much... Is that dirt there? No, instrument, ta instrument tower panel is good. I think this whole floor might be good now. This is where the majority of the rest of the dirt is. Because I don't have an easy way to deal with it. So yeah, back to the scaffolding as I wanted to do to begin with. I don't even know if that will reach that. That's going to be the fun part, trying to get the top. Because even the tallest of the scaffolding is not even close. But we should be able to hit that outer lip. And yeah, I just hate scaffolding because I got to move it around all the time. Yeah, that should be easy to hit the outer lip. Just got to go to the extra long and snipe it. And there we go. Now we're getting the ones that I missed. Oh, I'm not going to be able to reach that. Even at my longest range, this is too far away. So yeah, we're going to get a little bit closer. And we have officially hit 99 almost done i don't want to say that because we're really not but <laughs> at least according the, to the dirt percentages we are it's all these freaking poles that are gonna drive me nuts because yeah i gotta hit each one of them and then we have all these lips here that i gotta get it from the inside and outside as you can see it's just small pieces of dirt everywhere all right so wrapped around with the scaffolding uh got the disc done at least the majority of it that is we still got those middle pieces i wonder if can i reach it from here it's just this slightly too big look i can jump shot it of course but yeah this is still very much nowhere near done this is going to take me forever i feel like going close to it now might be smarter okay so these ones are fine i don't feel like i got too many pulls done but yeah i gotta like manually check every one of them and hit it from both sides there we go i got that one but yeah, i'm gonna fall every time god it's literally every pull it's okay thankfully it looks like i can hit the majority of them and get it done from just walking around. Yeah, it seems like it's that bottom left corner every time. Let's see if we can find another one. That one's clean, surprisingly. There we go. This one's real bad. Oh, did I get it? I finally freaking got it right at the end. Okay, the railing was truly brutal. Ah, uh, of course, the ladder still has so much on it. Yeah, these should be pretty easy, though. It's all obviously all on the inside. There we go. Got it. Don't have to worry about that anymore. All right, this is the hard part. I got to figure out how to get up here. Can I just climb this? Is there a, a step stool somewhere? Because, yeah, I, the freaking scaffolding doesn't even go tall enough. So I got to figure out, yeah, just how to get up there and clean the rest of this. I wonder if I can use this ladder. I mean, I can see it from this side, but I'm not going to be able to see it from the other side. Yeah, look at all that dirt right over there. This is what I need to get. But I need to do it from the other side. We'll go nice and close just like that and see if we can see up there. I think it was too short, though, if I remember correctly. I mean, it's close. I can jump shot some of it. There we go. I got that. I just got to get that piece there. Okay, this should be okay, but honestly, very hard to do. All right, there we go. I was able to stand on the pole here. I can see a bit more and got it. Okay. Why was that so difficult? This should be one more floor up for this level. This one's insane. Yes. Oh, I didn't even have to look at the list. I feel so good about myself. I did see this as I was running up to clean the hatch frame, which is this right here. I uh, saw that this was dirty as well. I don't know if I need to go from the upside or downside. Can't see any dirt, but that doesn't mean it's not there. I'm far away from it right now. Try and get it, and then I'm going to go to the inside. It's probably this ledge. No, where the frick is the dirt on this? Oh, here we go again, climbing the stairs. <laughs> Smacking my... Uh power washer off each step oh i see some there there it is okay that was the smallest piece pedestal door handle pedestal door handle um pedestal wait it's not is, is it this oh it is this okay come on man how is this so dirty it doesn't even oh there it is okay so it's on the inside and i think it's rust and that's why it's very hard to actually hit that there we go pedestal door handle and control room base control oh control room there's nothing even wrong with this. Control room base I screwed up, which is probably, yeah, this big bar here. All right, and there we go. We have a perfect satellite now. Let's watch that satisfying cleaning. 
making it look way too easy as per usual. I love how I hid that part, and I don't think I cleaned that. Oh, I did, actually. And there we go. Super satisfying up top. Ah, and nice and clean. Honestly, I thought there'd be like a UFO or something there. Maybe I missed something, but uh, just them talking about the UFOs kind of gets me interested in the next one. And just for a sneak peek, this is the next one. I don't know what this place is or what it does, but it clearly has lots of solar power. And actually not as big as I thought. Still, I think a little bit bigger than the satellite with all these other small things around as well. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, of course, we'll definitely be doing this one in the very near future. Always nice to see some new bonus levels in Power Watch Sim. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.